This will be the last iteration of One Play Wednesday for this week. It's Derrick Henry's 87-yard touchdown run to begin the Ravens' 35-10 win over the Bills on Sunday Night Football. It's the Wham Trap play that I've talked about, and I think I've actually illustrated it one time in a separate video. I'm sure multiple other people has, has, have as well. First of all, it, there's multiple benefits to this play from a Ravens perspective. They generally run it to the right. I'll use some film from 2023 to, to prove to you, quote-unquote, that they do. They did run this prior to Todd Munkin's arrival. Num number two, it gets Derrick Henry downhill, oftentimes gets him to the line of scrimmage absolutely unblocked. It's a gap scheme, if you want to call it. I know people who would call it a trap scheme. I call it wham trap, anything where the, the fullback slash tight end is is blocking from an outside in angle down on a defensive tackle. We will refer to as wham, whether it's a front side wham block or backside wham block. We'll let the end zone angle film flow through one time. I like to talk about a count. Sometimes I'll let this flow back through in a moment. One thing I want to mention, and I did talk about this in the reaction video, is these guys on this team, offensively especially, they seem to really be happy about each other's success. Watch the reaction that these guys have. Yeah, it's an 87-yard touchdown run. We're up 7-0. Uh, these guys celebrate for each other in a way that I think, I don't want to say is unique, but it's quite obvious to, to me that they really enjoy each other's success. So the way you count things in any level of football, you split the formation in the midline, Anyone to the right or left of that midline counts as one. So you can see the Ravens have four, Andrews, Ricard, and then the right tackle, right guard. Anyone on the midline counts as a half to each side. So we've got one and a half. So it's a balanced formation. The Ravens have five and a half to this side of the formation. The Bills in the picture have one, two, three. You can see the safety's foot there. And then the corner, they are half a man down right now. And that matters. It may not sound like it. The way the Ravens block things creates, if you ask me, a six on five. You've got Philele down on the backside D tackle, Ricard down on the front side D tackle. Rosengarten has the quote most difficult block where he's got to actually win without leverage being created for him. And then Linderbaum is going to get the boundary side inside linebacker. There will have to be more more iterations of this play. The Ravens have to run this more often. Number one. Number two. We have to run more stuff off of this play, if you ask me. So I didn't see that a ton in 2023 in terms of us running complementary plays off of it that look the same. This is the same exact concept. Wham trap from the left hash. Gus Edwards hitting it downhill. Pretty much on the same tracks as Derrick Henry. The difference, I think, is how much ground Derrick Henry gains while he's navigating perhaps slalom run around the down block here. And then the base block, I would call it, by the right tackle. We always run this to the right. Haven't seen us run this to the left yet. The ground that Henry gains, the speed with which he gets to the line of scrimmage, I think is important to note. One more iteration of it, this one from under center. Backside wham trap block. Everything else is pretty much the same on the front side here. Except Zeitler has to deal with the front side defensive tackle from a base block manner, so we're working out to the defensive tackle, out to the defensive end, leaving the backside D-tackle unblocked for Ricard to go get. We're still folding here on the backside with the left guard and left tackle, and I'll iterate, I'll annotate that a little bit when um, when we get back to the 2024 version of it. Wham track can be the front side D-tackle or the backside. All 22 angle. Why did we have this half of man advantage up to the top side? Again, the Ravens five and a half and the Bills six. Why? Because we have twins down here and it's 11 personnel. So the corner is on the field for the Bills. The nickel defender, he's obviously set to the field. He pretty much has to be because there's twins down there. Strong safety, free safety, whatever you want to call him. Field side, inside linebacker, there's your four. And then defensive tackle, five. Defensive end, six. So they are half a man up, they being the Bills, to the field, half a man down to the boundary. Perfect call, first play of the game, to take advantage of that alignment against that specific formation. I would like to see the Ravens come back to it, to be real. I did mention foot speed in the reaction video, and I still uh, notice it in watching this game. The Bills' foot speed at the cornerback and safety position is uh, just lacking when compared to us. So last thing I want to mention here about this play over here on the backside the way the Ravens get this blocked, of course, 
This defensive tackle here is being trapped by Philele. We're talking about the backside one or shade. So how do we account for the backside inside linebacker and the defensive end? They fold it. Makari, who's at left guard this time, works out to the defensive end, while Stanley works up to the backside inside linebacker. So both of these linebackers closed off by our most athletic guys, Linderbaum and Stanley. We'll let this flow through a couple of times so you can appreciate the blocking. So if it hopefully it's not annoying for you that the play is being restarted like that. I love the blocking scheme here, the angles that are created from a Ravens perspective. The fact that we run this to our right a lot really fits. I want to see something else off of it. I want to see something else where, you know, maybe we're stepping down and still trapping the defensive tackle, pass proing it, and Lamar is getting some depth, possibly to work it to Derrick Henry into the boundary, into the boundary like this. The Ravens, if you ask me, have some, Munkin has some great initial plays from various formations. I do think that if we have had a relative weakness in 2023 and 2024, it is this not getting to the complementary plays that work off of or build on these concepts from a formation standpoint, meaning a consistent look pre-snap, and then running a different play off of it. Certainly, Todd Munkin does a great job of that with many formations This and plays. This particular one, in my opinion, 11 personnel, or in this case, 21, twin slot with the running back and the, and the, with the running back, and the H-back, in this case, Ricard, either being on the same side or in the pistol, I think is something that we could build off of and create more offensive sequences to kind of bait defenses into over-adjusting to stop this play, and then we hammer them with something else to the other side. You guys let me know what you think of the One Play Wednesday concept covering covering this wham trap concept, this wham, wham trap play. It went for 87 yards on the first play of the game. Let me know what you think of me picking that one, even though I had already covered it in some other videos. So if I'm stealing content here, then you know, forgive me for that. Additional to that, I'm hoping to do a live stream sometime this week about the Ravens' defense, particularly their dime defense and how it could match up with Joe Burrow and the Bengals and utilize some film from 2023 and 2024 to kind of illustrate some of my thoughts. Number one and number two, answer any of your questions. In order for me to do that, if you have questions about the Ravens-Bengals matchup, specifically Baltimore's defense in 2024 against Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and all of those guys that they've collected over there, please consider putting your question, your thought, your idea in the comment section for this video so I can see it and build some film to kind of give a more complete response. Appreciate you guys' time, man. If you think other Ravens fans would enjoy this film study, this short film study look at the wham trap that Derrick Henry took to the house, to start Sunday night football's blowout over the Bills. And please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it out on social media to help this content get more reach.